All right, so we're gonna go about uh, what would you call that? Three centimeters, about an eighth of an inch up. Yeah, it's an eighth of an inch or so. Right around. Hey everyone, welcome to a new YouTube video. I'm here with Brody. A couple weeks ago, we did a video with Max about the Hamilton PS1 and KR1, and now we have the Hamilton. What are these things called? The cloak and the tombstone. And the tombstone. Um, so very similar to how the KR1 and the PS1 work. Yep, same idea pretty much. Um, um, just no water filtration. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, so the cloak is a single uh, cartridge device that turns any cartridge into a draw activated cartridge. That's so nice. Uh, vapes 4.2 volts max and goes down to 3.2. Is that three power levels or four? Um, through, it's one power level, but I believe it just declines. Oh, as it, gotcha. Yeah, it's not, not adjustable power wise. Gotcha. Um, I do notice a decline as the power goes down as I've right. used both of these. But it's a good way to also tell the battery life then, because yeah. when you tell your hits get weaker, you yeah, know to plug like, it in. I know it's time to plug it in. Does it pass through? Uh, yes. So you can use it while it's charging? Yep. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Uh, and then the Tombstone is the dual cart version of that. So yeah. two carts in this guy versus the one yeah. in the cloak. Um, battery life wise, what does that have? 650 ma. Oh, this has 652. So, as far as battery lives go, this is probably going to burn faster yeah. since you're powering you twice as much. Bit. Right. Um, but overall, you've had this one longer than this one, correct? Yeah, we just okay. got that one in. I've had it for about three or four days. The cloak has been almost my, I'd say, EDC cart battery yeah. for a while now. Yeah. So How long have you had that? A couple weeks. I want to say two, three weeks. Yeah. Ago. Okay. So you've been liking the the cloak. Yep. First couple of days of the tombstone. What do you think of it? Not bad. I was really impressed, at least with the cartridges I have in there right now. How easy it was to draw through, considering there's two of them in there. Right. That's um, actually a good question. What carts are in here? Uh, Dodie. I okay. have the raspberry cushioned lemon cello. Okay. Oh, nice. So yeah, really lemony solid. raspberry mix. Nice. In my PS2, I have berry gelato and lemon cello, and that's. Phenomenal yeah. as well. Uh, what about in the cloak? Got a Strange Clouds birthday cake. Oh yeah, this Strange Clouds is a new brand. We'll probably have a video or something specifically about these because they're impressive. They are. <laughs> uh, just tried, just started on this one. I'm a huge sucker for the cake flavors, the uh -huh. desserty carts usually. Yeah. And this has hit my mark so far. Uh, Nine hundred. Yep. Nine hundred. Nine hundred fifty milligrams 50. of Delta Eight. Um, so far, yeah. Very made by, impressive. Um, Treetop hemp, very good. Oh, nice. Oh, they, yeah. Us. And their carts have always been super reliable. Are these the same carts? Uh, yeah. Okay. Same body. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I already can tell you, like, I've had great luck with the treetops all the way down to the bottom. Nice. So let's give these things a shot. Yeah. I'm, I'm impressed. You go ahead with that cloak yeah. first. Single. Back, this was the strange clouds. It's the uh, birthday cake. Nice. And while you do that, I've got the tombstone with the double doty carts. That's an impressive cloud. It's a great cartman. Very, very tasty. I like some sucker for those. The birthday cake. Yeah, I love those drinks. Oh, that's nice. Wedding cake too. That is. So this is more restrictive than that to pull through, but still not too bad. Yeah, I honestly feel like this is more restrictive. I mean, At least with the the treetop cartridge in there. Right. I, it definitely varies. That's the one thing, the one gripe I kind of have with these is it varies per cart how much airflow each cart lets through. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that is more restrictive. That's more open, but it's a lot more air. That's yeah. what it is. You're pulling more air through. Yeah. So the real reason we're here is to custom modify one a little bit. We've yeah. got a drill. Um, one of our coworkers actually told us about drilling a carb hole. So right at the bottom of where the, the cover, I guess, yeah, for the cart, the sheath, uh, we're going to drill a hole, uh, give it some airflow then, so that when you release it, you can clear all the vapor out of it. Yep. Um, let's clean off our workspace and get to it. Yeah, there we go. Super loud, yeah. All right, so we're getting ready to customize this thing. We've got a 2 by 4 just in case we drill through it. Now, actually, let me borrow this for a yeah. second. One thing I will point out, we're trying to just drill through the outside edge here. We don't want to go through here. But we've got the 2x4 just in case. I prefer, I think, this yeah, way. Won't ruin our lovely little <coughs> I'll put um, it down. And we have a, what is this, 764 bit on here. Yes. Um, if it's too restrictive, we've got an eighth of an inch bit we're going to hit it with. Uh, but I, this size looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks honestly <laughs> about the size of the carb on the PS2. Or PS1, oh, that's a rather. really good point. They, we should have measured that. Yeah, <laughs> 
All right, so we're gonna go about uh, what would you call that? Three centimeters, about an eighth of an inch up. Yeah, it's an eighth of an inch or so. Right around. And just gently in. Woo! I scraped the back end. It's okay. As I long scraped as you it. You didn't go through. <clears throat> All right, so let's. Uh, we want to give that a whirl. Wow, is that? Hold on, let's clean it off real quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it that easy? Some burrs in there. Yeah. A couple burrs. So. Okay, nice. Bam. All right, let's check this out. That's a pretty clean hole. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad at all. Well done. Thank you. Let's see if it works. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's test it out. So the idea is you'll cover it yeah. while you're drawing it. Here, step this way a little oh, bit. Yeah. Yeah. You'll right. cover it while you're drawing on it, and then after you finish your draw, you let go with your finger. Let's the air come through it, shut the... Uh, Draw off. Oh yeah. Is that nice? That worked. Yeah. yeah you did very good. That's that's, that's nice. nice. That's nice. Oh yeah. That actually helped. It I smooths think. it out because it lets you draw some clear yeah. air through. Oh, that's glorious. Wow. Oh, like <laughs> that is that smooths the hit out so that's, much. It yeah. takes a huge kick off. There's a. Uh, Strange Cloud's awesome, man. Yeah, yeah, no, very nice. All right, for anyone who's interested, that was a 7 64ths inch bit, the hole in the front of the cloak from Hamilton. Real easy, clean out the birds afterwards. Um, I think we're both very impressed with the results. I'd highly recommend it. Uh, let us know if you try it out. If you have good results, bad results, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.